What's up guys, nice to see you on my channel, hope you're all doing great and today I have a new tutorial for you about how to color grade S-Log2 in Final Cut Pro. That means we'll be looking today how to change this view from the left side to this view from the right side. So let's dive in. And before we'll start it, I want to remind you that each creator has their own styles and this tutorial is created to show you how to use the tools, not to copy them. But if you want, of course, you can copy my style and apply it to your videos, but I highly recommend you to learn how to use this tool. So that is my advice. Let's dive in. So and first, of course, we will start from clip, which I drop already in the timeline. That is a clip from the previous video about five tips how to improve your audio, how to get a crispy audio from your microphone etc highly recommend you to watch i will put link here on top you can check this later so we have a welcome clip here like you see and first what we're doing of course i want to apply a small correction with the color board so first color board and normally what i'm doing i starting from exposure going to saturation and after that to the colors so first of all we bring in a little bit up exposure i want to bring exposure of this clip a little bit up maybe like that and after that drop mid-tones like to 26 and maybe a little bit drop shadows so we have this nice moody look already like you see there is still missing colors but we're already close to what we want to get next one we go in with the saturation just a little bit so with the saturation here it can be tricky part normally what i'm doing i'm bringing first of all main one master one a little bit higher so like 30 percent or something like that and after that i bring in red one because i want to make sure that it's a lot of red in my videos so and maybe a little bit of green and a little bit of blue so that is what I'm doing normally with the saturation. So, and like you see, clip already look interesting. So, not perfect, but it's already close to what we want to get. So, just two options already, which we use, saturation and exposure, already bring us pretty close to what we want to get. So, that is a pretty good result so far. But that's not it. Let's go to our color and normally here what i'm doing it's i'm bringing shadows a little bit here and maybe doing like minus one and i take in also mid tones which i have here and give it a little bit three percent on top to make it looks a little bit blue on behind of me behind me that mean just to normalize picture because if you have too much red normally it can be distracting and i want to keep this natural picture i want to keep whole profile really natural in the colors it means you still have a red but you also have a blue behind and it's creates some moody style like you see behind me a lot of lamps one of them is white one of them is orange so i want to make sure that colors will be looks great so after that when we add already everything so you already see that clip already pretty similar to what i have right now here but what I don't like it is that colors of the skin they still like a little bit a little bit yellowish yellowish I want to make it them a little bit more orange so for that one we're normally going to hue saturation curves and here you have first two hue vs hue and hue vs saturation so and normally what I'm doing I add in couple points here four points here and four points here because that is the main colors with which i'm working if you don't know how to find your color normally what you're doing you press in here and press on area which you want to change the color let's say it hue more or maybe drop the saturation and here you see it's pretty close to what i mark so my skin is somewhere here and that is the color which i want to control additional one i always drop in a 
keyframe here just to make sure that if I start working with these colors, other colors not will be involved. So try to limit your changes for the specific colors. That's why I'm dropping four different points here in the hue and saturation. So, and what I want to do right now, it's I want to bring a little bit more orange to our skin and let's say it's like that. And like you see, my skin already looks more natural right now. It's a little bit more red, but what we can do, first of all, we bring it here, saturation also. Then it's give us this nice cinematic view, I can say, it's cinematic view. And like you see, skin already looks a little bit better. Maybe we'll bring it yeah, here because I like more orange style like orange dark and orange and that is how i want to look my video so that is the look which i want and like you see when i modify different uh, keyframes here specifically on the hue via saturation there is uh, no problems at all and like you see our clip already looks pretty decent we need to check the colors of course we can play we're talking about Oh, it's too loud, yeah, but it looks already pretty decent for me. Of course, we can drop one more point here to make color correction more proper one. But like you see, when we drop this point, we're losing something in the saturation. So I don't want to lose this one. So we'll remove previous points with Ctrl Z. At least it's really moody if you want you also can control background so if we go to the background and let's see here we have a little bit bluish effect we can bring saturation or drop saturation normally what i'm doing if i want to have a hue here i just do it like that and then it's create like a little bit greenish effect like you see that is a tricky part normally i'm not using this one i just showing which option you can use to create more cinematic style so guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed that was quite interesting tutorial if you enjoyed don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like what i'm doing of course subscribe on my channel if you're still not subscribed and see you in the next video already pretty soon take care bye i know we're acting stupid Nice to see you on my channel. Hope you all doing great. Nice to see you all smiling faces. <laughs>